let's talk about these kicks down here. I, those, I saw those uh, coming through the, the curtain. Those are insane. Yeah. I'm doing a movie right now called November Rule, and it's about sneaker culture. Uh -huh. And these are, I think, one of the most rare pairs of sneakers in the world. They're worth about, I think, $5,000. What? Yeah. I know, you get killed over this kind of shoe. Yeah, but listen, you, but you, uh, you're a very, uh, you're very tight with it. We've talked about this before. You were very tight with a dollar. You didn't spend no, that No, 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 I took them. I looked the producer in the eye and I was like, you know I'm taking these, right? And they didn't say no, so I left the building with them. <laughs> those are 5,000, you stole those. Yeah. Those are stolen. It's grand larceny, but I think that they won't prosecute. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Queen Latifah. She produced the movie. Okay, all right. And what makes those uh, sneakers so special? Like, what makes them worth $5,000? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not supposed to wear them outside, so after I wear them today, I have to put them in plexiglass. Is that true? Yeah, and I'm going to trade them for a painting one day. <laughs> what a strange thing to say. <laughs> well, no, I will gonna... trade them for a painting one day. But I'm going to. What do you mean? Well, I collect art, and I would rather have an art, a piece of art than a pair of shoes. So when they double in value to like $10,000, I'm going to trade them away to somebody. And then you're going to get a piece a of painting. work. A painting, yeah. A painting of sneakers. Yeah, that's not weird. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow, that's not... Now, let's talk about something. I heard that, that recently you said, and I hope this is not true, that you were considering plastic surgery. And I heard that and I thought, I hope he's not really thinking about that. Yeah, but it's not in the way you think. As I've gotten older, I've gotten used to how I look and I'm happy with how I look. And I realize that when I do that, I look handsome. So I do that a lot now. Wait, do that again. What? It makes you look handsome. See? Wait, that? Let me see that again. Yeah. What are you doing? Oh, with your eyes. Yeah, look, see that? It doesn't it makes work you look for handsome. me. No, look, it makes me look worried. Look at me, I'm, I'm just worried. I stopped doing Botox <laughs> to be allowed to do it. So, so listen. This isn't working for me at all. Andy, you try it. Maybe you get handsomer. Actually, you Andy does get handsomer. You do get handsomer. <laughs> you don't. I don't. <laughs> Andy handsomer. You handsomer. Me worried. I look worried and constipated. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. Um, so, so what are you talking about? You wouldn't, you wouldn't get plastic surgery. No, no, no. I went because I was looking at some old photos from when I first started acting and some old... Uh, you, you know, I did your show the first time 14 years ago, so I've known you guys for 14 years now. Mm -hmm. So I was looking through a bunch of that, like going down memory lane, and I realized that my nose and ears are still growing. And so I went online, and they grow for the whole rest of your life. That's they do. Why, yeah, they that's why grow, everybody yeah. in, who was famous and pretty in the 80s now look like a golden girl, because this keeps growing and keeps getting bigger. Right. And so, so your ears and your nose get bigger and bigger and bigger, right. Right. Okay. But I didn't want to change the shape of it, so I found this plastic surgeon in Beverly Hills, and I went, and he said that they could go inside and just shave off a quarter of an inch on my ears and my nose. Yeah, but, but why? Why not? I have $5,000 sneakers. I think my sneakers. why is... I should have small <laughs> ears and nose. I mean, it won't change my appearance except from the side. Right. So from the side, you'd have a small, less prominent nose and less prominent ears. Yeah, because I'm preparing for the future. Because... <laughs> oh, well, now you've sold me. Well... Uh... You can say that about anything. I've got a lot of onions in the basement. Why? I'm preparing for the future. You know. It does know. make sense. But um, I'm probably gonna do it for a couple more years. Okay, you're gonna wait a couple of years and then he's gonna go in, he's gonna shave off cartilage here and you're gonna retract. But here's the problem, once you get started, people don't stop, I know. No, you're gonna I'm not do gonna that, then you're gonna do this, then you're gonna say, I don't like this, then the next thing you know, I see you, you're gonna have a monocle and a weird. I want a monocle. You want a monocle? I do want a monocle. I went on eBay a couple days ago to try to find one. <laughs> I want a monocle and a bowler hat. We well, have one in props. Why don't we just give them? Don't we have a props department oh, here? Have props. That. Find them a monocle. That would save me money. We'll give, yeah. You stole $5,000 shoes. <laughs> We're going to give you a monocle. See if they can find a monocle. We'll get it for you before the end of the show. I love being on this show. Yeah. <laughs> That's the reason guests yeah. come on. Yeah, yeah. Guests come on not to, pro, you know, to promote something. They're just like, I might get a monocle. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe a stuffed parrot.